Hey guys, welcome to my video, my show. This is Raj Sahu, the presenter. I'm at Goa currently. Today, while uh, I've been wa walking a lot on the Goa beach, at different Goa beaches, and really enjoy walking, and something always fascinates me. While I walk, walk towards uh, on the beach, and the waves of the Arabian Sea, which keep lashing the coast of the beach there at Goa. I go parallel to the surf where the waves end. Sometimes they come and go almost up to my knees, sometimes even higher. It's, a, it's beautiful, it's warm. I've always thought, why doesn't a big tidal bore come, you know, like a big tide. Not that I wish at all, but just inquisitive, curious. Also, today my... Uh, you know, attention was captivated by or captured by a country called Maldives, whose capital is Male, M-A-L-E, that thing, pronounced Male. It is the capital and the most populous uh, city of Maldives. It's the capital with a population of 212,000 people almost. You know, the area of Mal that Male island, it's a pretty island to the south of India, way south of India, in the middle of nowhere, in the ocean, Indian Ocean. It's an Indian Ocean island with a population of 212,000 and a geographical area of only about 3.2 square miles. Can you believe, guys, what is 3.2 miles? 1 mile 1.5 miles by 1.5 or thereabouts 2 miles by 1.6 miles 2 miles in length 1.6 miles in breadth width that's all imagine a 2 or 1 and a half mile uh, broad island hardly any space huh? and 211,000 people live there and if you see it is surrounded by the ocean, Indian Ocean. And it is supposed to be one of the most densely populated cities in the world because 211,000 people are crammed up in 3 square miles. That's all. Like I said, 1.5 miles by 2 miles. That's all. Shorter than the area probably you live in. Smaller than the area. A block, few blocks and it's finished. Now, it is not about the country, Maldives or beautiful uh, country of Mal Maldives and the islands or about their capital. It is about God that I am talking about. I was wondering why don't they go underwater? Not that I wish to please understand that. I wish very well for everybody. God bless everybody with good life and God's wisdom that we may produce righteous fruit in our life and practice loving compassion continually as Jesus Commanded. But it's not about talking about that. It's about why doesn't the water just sweep over this tiny little bit of an island? And you have to sometimes expand that Google thing to even see those islands. It's not easy. Check it out today. And yet, it is there for thousands of years, guys. It hasn't gone under the water. What is the reason? Let me give you a quick reason for that. Why it is not... And I'll give you a biblical reason. Here is the reason, guys. I'll be reading Proverbs 8.29 out for you. And you'll know why it's not gone. If you see it on the map, you will, un you will feel the same way as I do. Good, it captured my attention. So this can come to you. Maybe someday you eat. visit Maldives or an island close to India. And it's in under India, possession similar island called Lakshadweep. Similar. Anyway, the reason why the waters don't sweep or cover this little island is when Father God or when the Lord God assigned the sea its limit, when the Lord God assigned to the sea its limit so that the waters might not transgress his command when he marked out the foundations of the earth. So this is the only reason. 
and the sole and whole reason that the waters are not gushing over and sweeping over and there is nothing left of this little island. God's command to whom? The sea, the oceans, the waters. This is Proverbs 8, 29, which I read out to you. Again, I'll read out when God assigned the sea its limit so that the waters might not transgress his command when he marked out the foundations of the earth. So there were commands, do not transgress. This is the limit. You shall not. Imagine the oceans and we know uh, in Proverbs, in we know from Psalms, Job's story, when Father God appeared to him because of his constant questioning and then he comes, talks about what he did. It's mind-boggling, it's fantastic, it's just worthy of being shared, guys. Then I will read out Psalms 104.9. That's the places where he tells how he commanded the ocean to stay where you are or the seas and they don't transgress. They obey his command. Psalms 104.9 gives us, throws more light on that very issue. It says, Father God, you set a boundary that they, the waters, may not pass. He has set a boundary this far and no more and typically they do not do that else Maldives wouldn't have been there and that's just like one example there are many which are so close Hawaii to some extent some parts at least it's tiny islands you know some of them but this really stands up there are many others the reason that it does not sweep them under water. The oceans is God's command. There is no other... See, I've done a bit of science in my life. I understand. I was a science student. Some things go beyond all that. How is there a little universe inside the little most particle known to man called atom? If you break it, you can because it's too small. But you can see it on Google on internet, internet there is a universe inside and that also is in command of other God how are those electrons orbiting around the nucleus it's like a different universe right inside the atom that's God for you and me that's our God everything is in his control and in his command be very fearful of God be very fearful and his foremost command is do not sin. That's why I made that acronym there. Sin I'll not. So that the repercussions is just way too much to handle. It's too much. Every destruction, every pit of human despair and problem, the cause, the root cause is sin. We have to listen to the Father, Father God who created all this and has the supreme control like this. Whenever you see Maldives or whenever you go to ocean, remember Father God and His Son, our Lord Jesus. Remember. This is the boundary they set to the ocean and it cannot transgress and it doesn't, it listens to their command. Why don't we? Hmm? I've mentioned many times in my different uh, videos Jesus reminded moments before he went to the cross. If you love me, keep my command, commands. If you love me, keep my commands. Six times. When these waters can keep the commandments of God, you shall not, that Psalms 1049, you set a boundary that they may not pass, so that they may not again cover the earth. They are so obedient, these waters, that they don't even cover a tiny island. And that is the example I'm taking to help us understand everything works together for God and in compliance with His commands. Let's also do that, guys. Thank you for watching our video. God bless you.